of the control of insect pests in empty cereal grain mills, grain stores, food processing facilities, food or feed storage facilities and plant or machinery can be effectively undertaken by fumigation. The fumigant of choice in these instances is sulfuryl fluoride, which has the trade name Profume. Profume is supplied ready to use as a pressurised gas in steel cylinders. Sulfuryl fluoride is able to penetrate deep into the fabric of empty buildings and grain stores and is commonly seen as a replacement for the fumigant methyl bromide, whose use has now been phased out completely in the UK. Fumigation with profume differs from fumigation with phosphine in several important ways. Firstly, profume does not have label approval for the fumigation of commodities in the UK. This means that raw materials, work in progress and finished goods must be removed from the buildings to be fumigated. Profume may be used for the control of wood destroying pests such as furniture beetle and powder post beetle in dwellings, buildings, furnishings, packaging materials, historic monuments, wooden artifacts, vessels and shipping containers. Secondly, buildings must be extremely well sealed as the treatment will fail if large quantities of gas escape during the fumigation. Once the structure has been made sufficiently gas tight, distribution pipework is installed to ensure the fumigant reaches all areas. A sophisticated computer system, known as the FumiGuide, is used to analyse the factors which will affect the fumigation and allows the operator to calculate the required dosage. It also lets the operator know when to add more gas to make up for the leakage during treatment and can significantly improve the success of the treatment. The exact quantity required will depend on a variety of factors such as the volume of the structure to be fumigated, the gas tightness of the structure, the target pest and the ambient temperature. The fumigant is left in place for the exposure period which is usually 24 hours. During this period, fumigant concentrations are monitored and, if necessary, top-ups of fumigant may be applied. At the end of the exposure period, the fumigant is vented to the atmosphere. Tests are carried out by the fumigators before certifying the structure is safe and no harmful concentrations of fumigant remain. Rentical employs and thoroughly trains a specialist team of fumigation operators each of whom must demonstrate their competence before being designated as an operator in charge and by sitting annual stewardship training in the safe and effective use of the product.